What's up, Fit Body Nation? So guess what? It's Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. So that means that we're going to be hitting arms and back today. So the name of the workout, toned arms and back without leaving your living room. That's right. Do it at home. Most of you are. All right, so here's what we've got. We've got five exercises covering the biceps, covering the back, and covering the triceps. We're going to do each one of those exercises for one minute. <clears throat> At the end of that minute, we're going to rest for about 30 seconds. Then we're going to go through and do all five again. Then rest for 30 seconds. And then the third round. If you're starting out at a beginner, maybe only do one or two rounds. Make sure you got a set of dumbbells. I've got a heavier set and a lighter set. A lighter set will be fine. Get some water, yoga mat if you need it. I don't know, maybe you got padded floors or carpet or something. So regular bicep curls in three, two, one. Let's go. So... You're gonna curl it up. Palms need to start facing your hips, and then you rotate them, and so they face your face, your chin, when you're done. Make sense? All right, so let's keep it up. Also, with the bicep curls, absolutely no swinging. I said it 100 times. No swinging, that means you bring the weights up, then you bring them right back down, but you stop them when they get down by your legs. Then you start the bicep curl again. If not, you'll get into this swinging motion, that absolutely takes everything away from that exercise. All right, good. So exhale, bringing the weight up, right back down. Keep a steady pace, you don't have to speed through this. All right, this one isn't one you race. We did our cardio yesterday, so if you missed that one, go back and do it again, okay? Today we're focused on toning only, all right? Toned arms, toned back. Five seconds, good. Now, I'm gonna grab a lighter set of dumbbells for this next one. Use what you got. Can we bend over, head up, go nice and wide, okay? This is called a reverse fly. This hits your back, okay? This is gonna to tone up your upper back muscles. So that way, when you put the tank top on, you put the sleeveless shirts on, you've got some back definition showing, looking good, looking sexy for summer, which is what we all want, isn't it? Here we go, keep working, nice and wide. Now notice I bring them down, I'm not touching them at the bottom, but I'm bringing them down. I'm kicking them way back out, all right? I want you doing the same exact thing. Good, we got this, come on. We got about 25 seconds left, not much. Just right there. Good, now for the last few, bring it back. I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades together. Squeeze them together. 10 seconds left, come on. Five seconds. Three, two, one. One, now stand up straight, we're going into a hammer curl. So this one, bring the dumbbells up, just like the bicep curl. But notice, my palms, they stay facing me the entire time. That is the reason it's called a hammer curl. It'd be just like if you were hammering a nail with this dumbbell, okay? That's how you would hold that weight. So same thing, bring it up, right back down. You're gonna feel this one in your biceps, okay? Again, long, lean, Muscular arms, okay? You don't want a bulky bicep. So, the way to keep from doing that is all the way up. Fully extend and straighten your arm out. There should be no bend in your arm whatsoever. That will give you a long, lean, muscular look, okay? A long toned look. Not a funny bicep build look, okay? 10 seconds left on this one. Almost there. You've got five seconds left. Three, two, one. Okay, so now we're going into kickbacks. So back is bent over, keep your elbows up, you're kicking straight back, bring them down. Now pretend that your elbows are literally pinned to your sides, to your rib cage, okay? That means you can't drop them down. You can't let them shift down to the ground. You gotta keep your elbows up. And I even pretend that my elbows are pointed up at the ceiling. I know they're not, but that's what I pretend they are. Good. Take them back. Nice and tight. Bring them down. Got 20 seconds left on this. Good. Keep moving. So I did a run earlier today. I guess earlier yesterday. My legs are shaking from it. Even stabilizing down here in this squat. They're shaking. They're worn out. Eight seconds left though. We ain't stopping. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Okay, now on your stomach, you got Superman's. So for this one, 
on your stomach. You're going to come up with your feet, up with your hands. Let's go. Time is rolling. So transition as quick as you can in between each one of these exercises. If you get to the point where it's moving too fast for you, go ahead and pause the video, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. No one here is going to judge you. You're probably doing this at home by yourself anyway. 30 seconds left. Come on, we got it. You're looking good out there. Looking good. There you go. Come on, you got this. I know you can do it. I know you can. If you hit play on this workout, I know you can do it. You may have to modify everything, but I got faith in you, and I appreciate you for being here. Come on, you got this. Almost through it. We got 12 seconds. Eight seconds. Come on, you got it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And one, good. Okay, now 30 seconds of rest starts. I'm gonna highly recommend that you get some water, catch your breath, breathe a minute, shake it off, maybe go find a different set of weights, something you can use. Um, if you don't have any dumbbells or something like that, I'm gonna recommend you get some for my workouts and for any other workouts you wanna do at your house. It's always good to have a set laying around. But in the meantime, you can, you can add weight to a purse, you can put, you can get a water bottle like this, put water in it. That's probably 10 pounds right there. All right, you ready for the next round? I know you are. All right, we're going back to bicep curl, regular. Bicep curls, grab your dumbbells. And starting back. Five, four, three, two, one, here we go. Bringing them up, right back down. Good control. Now, showed you on the first one, the proper form. What I want you to remember is no swinging. Start with your palms facing your hips and then they rotate to face your chin. Nice rotation. Now if you get to, to the point where you, can't be, where you can't be curling both of them at the same time, alternate. Do a right bicep curl, do a left one. Still wanna keep your form good though. Okay, keep moving. We got about 25 seconds left on this one. Keep breathing. Don't stop everything you've got on this. Come on, it's Tuesday. Let's make this Tuesday work. That's it. Excellent, do not stop. Keep pushing, keep moving through. Almost there. That's it, doing good, doing good, doing good. You've got 10 seconds left, 10 seconds. I know you can push through this for 10 seconds. We've got a reverse fly coming up in three, two, one. Grab your other set of lighter dumbbells if you're using those. If not, hold on to what you got. Reverse fly. Working that upper back. Good. Keep those elbows back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. You can even put a pause at the top right there. Adds a little bit extra to every rep. Good. Keep moving. Keep that back flat. Head up. Bending at the hips. Bending at the waist. Good. Try to pretend you're trying to touch your elbows together when you get them all the way back. That's it. Don't stop. Literally got 25 seconds left. Almost there. Doing good. My legs are shaking and we're not even working legs today. That's it. Hopefully they don't look like they're shaking on your end. Because they're definitely shaking. That's it. Eight seconds. Almost there. Five seconds. I apologize. There's a train going by. And good. Now tricep kickbacks. No, hammer curls, hammer curls, hammer curls. Okay, so bringing them up, right back down. Up, right back down. Keep the palms faced in the entire time. So just like you'd be hammering a nail. Good. No swinging whatsoever. If you want to keep really strict form, here's a secret. Place your back against the wall. Have somebody hold their hand up against your chest, pushing you back against the wall. And then bring the weights up, bring them down slow enough that you don't put a hole in your sheetrock. You'll be amazed at how hard the exercise is. Even if you're using five pound dumbbells, you'll be amazed at how tough that exercise is when you're doing perfect, perfect form like that. If you're a claustrophobic person, I don't recommend you do that. I'll make you feel funny. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Now, tricep kickbacks. So back flat, bend over. I'm going to position my feet a little bit differently on this. Try to keep my legs from being so shaky when I'm down here. It's definitely distracting me from my tricep kickbacks. But remember, elbows stay kicked back, 
pretend there's a rod drilled into your elbow all the way through your rib cage, all the way out the other side through your other elbow. Keeping you stable. Only thing that's bending, notice, is elbow back to my hand. That's it. Everything else is staying still except for my legs that are shaking rapidly. Cool thing is, 25 seconds, then we're going to drop it down into Superman's. Then we're going to rest. Then we're going to do our final set. Come on, I know you're still hanging in there with me. Probably looking better than I am right now. Come on, you got this. Keep it up. Keep kicking back. Don't stop. Five seconds left. And drop it down on the ground. Okay. Here we go. On your stomach. Let's go. Put your hands behind your head. Bring your feet up. Bring your head up. Your hips up. Your chest up. Good. Belly button stays on the ground. Try to keep the hands up. Try not to stop. Don't rest. You're almost there. Doing good on this. we got 40 seconds left. Come on, keep moving. Literally, we get to rest after this. So no reason to stop now. Come on, you can do it. If you do have to stop, though, before, pause the workout. So I want you to start back right at the same spot. 25 seconds. Now put your hands out in front. Keep them moving. Keep them up, though. I know this is harder. Ah, come on. 12 seconds. It's tough on me. I know it's tough on you as well. It's hard on everybody. I promise you. Five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, relax your back out of that slowly. Doing good. Okay, so you know the routine. Water break. Get some water. Get your breath. Whew. Doing good. So we got our final set. Final five minutes right here. With that being said, again, no rest. So we're going to flow. One exercise to the next, to the next, to the next. Almost made it with me. Tuesday's almost done. All right, we're going to start in 10 seconds. Grab your dumbbells. All right, you know the routine. I'm going to break it down. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. All right, bringing it up, bringing it right back down. Boom, boom, boom. We got one minute of this. I want you to push through. I want this round to be your best one yet. Maybe your most exhausting. You may be the shakiest you've ever been. Your reps may not even be perfect, okay? But I want you to make it your best one yet. So pick up the pace slightly. Even if you got to alternate on some of the exercises, who knows? I'm going to. I'm doing it right now. Don't be afraid, all right? Modify it if you need to modify it. Cut your pride out. Work hard. You'll get the results. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep pushing on this. Come on, last round. Fight for it. This round should be the hardest one. Come on, 20 seconds left with the bicep curls. Then we're going into reverse fly. Do not stop. Don't pause the workout. Let's push through this last round. You've made it this far, so I know you can push through on this one, even if it hurts. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Good. Reverse fly. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Come on, make it happen. Get some reps. See how many reps you can get out. We're not counting them. We're going off of time, but count them. See what you can do. See if you can get a rep every second. See if you can get a rep every two seconds. Maybe you only get five reps. Doesn't matter. As long as it's your best. If five reps isn't your best, go for more. Give more. Push it out. Come on. We got this. We got 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. And then you know we got those hammer curls next. Come on, you got it. Keep it up. Ah, don't stop. 20 seconds. I've got sweat literally beating and rolling off of my forehead. Come on. I want you sweating just as bad. Fight for it. Fight for it. Fight for it. Let's go. You got eight seconds. Five seconds. Push it hard enough. Come on. Three, two, one. Stand up. Hammer curl. Let's go. Palms facing in the whole time. Just like hammering a nail. Hammer time. There you go. There you go. Come on. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. If you're getting tired, you start slowing down. Start slacking. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to turn your music up louder. Okay? Make sure you can still hear me. But turn your music up louder. Get in the zone. Make it happen. Put your headphones on. Whatever you need to do. Come on. Fight through it. 30 seconds left with the hammer curls. Bring them up. Touch the dumbbell to your shoulder. Bring it back 
down to your side. Put a pause at the bottom. Don't cheat yourself. Come on, I still want the movement to be correct. I don't want a sloppy movement, even though you're going harder, you're going faster, you're probably tired. But make sure the movement is in good form. Here we go, come on, come on. Eight seconds left. Eight seconds. Then we've got the kickbacks. Got this, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. And kickbacks, come on. Here we go. Elbows stay up high, keep them up high, don't let them drop. This one will be tough for some of you. Some of you, you may fly through this one. Keep the elbows up, keep going back, bring them forward, back, bring them forward. Come on, come on, come on. If you're not sure if your form looks decent on this, go find a mirror when we're done and do a couple in the mirror and see. See if your back is flat. See if you're keeping your elbows up. You should be feeling this in the back of your arms, okay? Triceps is what they're called. Let's go on this. Let's do it. You got 18 seconds. Come on, you can push anything out for 18 seconds. It takes me longer to put my contacts in in the morning. You got eight seconds on this one. Fight for it. Three, two, one. Okay, Superman, it's on your stomach. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Last one right here. Make it happen. All right. So bring it up. Hands, get them as high as you can. Feet, get them as high as you can. I want you to keep your hands out in front of your body. Not behind your head, not on the ground, not under your chin. Keep them out, keep them up. Let's go. No, you're here for results, so let's work. Let's get some results on this. Let's do it. If you don't want to do these workouts by yourself, recruit some friends. Recruit your spouse. Recruit your kids. I can't wait till my daughter is old enough to work out with me. Right now, she's one, so I take her running. But she can actually physically do the workout. I love it when I see parents inspiring their kids. Ah, let's go, let's go, let's go. 15 seconds and you're done. Ah. 10 seconds, five seconds, three, two, hold it, hold it, hands up, feet up, hold it, 10, nine, count with me, eight, count with me, seven, six, louder, four, four, three, two, one, and relax. Yeah, I know I can't count, but that's all right. You did awesome. I love you guys. You rocked it today. Be back tomorrow for the leg workout. Don't skip it. This is one awesome leg workout that we got tomorrow. Really focusing on the glutes. Remember, share this video. Do it again. Whatever you need to. Subscribe. I love you guys. You're killing it.